This key concept video is about truth tables, one of my favorite topics in IV maths. Uh, once you get the hang of how to do it, I find them quite enjoyable and also quite easy to complete. And in this video here, I just want to give a brief overview as to what the different types of truth tables are. You can see here down the left, I have the main ones and also just a brief overview as to how to complete a truth table. And once you have the pattern, it's pretty much uh, repeatable for every different type of truth table question that you get. Okay, so you can see here on the left, I have the various different truth tables for the different logic terms. And if you're not too sure what these words mean in green, I recommend watching the previous key concept video about logic terms. And we have the truth tables for negation, implication, conjunction, disjunction, and exclusive disjunction. And what they basically mean is, apart from the negation one, I'll talk about that a little bit later, for the last four, we have two different statements, P and Q, and then the result column, the third column. And we're looking at, okay, for the various different um, true or false like uh, possibilities for the statements P and Q, gives the result. Now you don't need to memorize these, there is actually a summary table in your formula book, however I have split these up and also provided a little bit of commentary for each. So for example, for implication, if the P statement is true and the Q statement is true, the result will be true. If it's true and then false, now the implication, the order is important, the result will be false and so on and so on. That's, about, that's pretty much all it means. Okay, so I'm going to be keeping these in mind and also and now going ahead and completing the two empty columns on my truth table here on the right. So first column that I want to do is this one, or complete, is this one here, negation Q. Now I have a look at my negation truth table. Negation's a very easy one to remember. The result will always be just the opposite of the original statement. So for example, when the P statement is true, negation P will be false. When the P statement is false, the negation P result will be true. So I'm looking at negation Q. So I'm just gonna simply do the opposite for all of the Q column here. So when it's true, my result will be false. When it's false, my result will be true. When it's true, my result will be false. And when it's false, my result will be true. Pretty easy one to start. Okay, the next one has both, both a uh, negation and an implication. So we're looking for negation and implication. However, the order for implication is important. We go negation Q, so that's, look at this, we actually already have the negation Q column. So it's going to be this column here first, followed by the P column, which is this column here second. So I'm actually looking from right to left, these two columns here. Okay, now let's work through them one by one. The first one is false true. Let's go to the implication table. False true is this one here. The result is true. Next one, true true. That's this result, true true, it's this one here. The result is true. Third one, false false. That's this result here, my result is true. And finally, true false. That's this one here, my result will be false. So the key point to understand here is some of these compound propositions that you'll see in truth tables look a little bit scary. They might be say, P uh, conjunction, Q uh, implication, negation, R. And at first glance, you're thinking, wow, what does this mean? However, just need to split it up. And usually the columns work up to the final result. So you'll have a column that says P conjunction Q, and you'll label that number one. You'll have another column that says negation R, you'll label that number two, and then it's simply just one implication two, and you can just read straight off the implication table. Okay, that provided a brief overview. I recommend now practicing some of these questions in the question bank section.